Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Quick, 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 with what's check. Reverso Grande. Today, guys, today, guys, I'm going to say something that some people will find offensive. And I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it loud and clear. In my opinion, Tudor is better than Rolex. That's right. Tudor is better than Rolex. Now, hang on a minute, Arch. How is that possible? Because Rolex is the prestige brand, whereas Tudor, Tudor is the poorer cousin, the slightly economical model. Well, let me explain further. What I'm referring to is the fact that any pre-ceramic, pre-maxi case Rolex is, in fact, inferior to the Black Bay, the new Black Bay series. Let me explain. How is it so? And uh, this is a very interesting argument. Now, let me tell you why I say this. I firstly want to make a disclaimer that I love both of these watches. We've got a late noughties Rolex Explorer 2. This is the 165 16750. And we have here 16. I've just confused my model numbers, fuckers. You know what I'm saying. This is the Rolex Explorer 2, fuckers. The Rolex Explorer 2. It's a cool piece. It's super cool. Now, fuckers, let's explain this further. This piece has a few things which the Tudor walks all over it. Let me explain. Now, okay, let's compare the two. Let's compare the two. For starters, this is a 40 mil version this here 41 mils and guess what it's also much more taller and girthy it's a modern look it really is a modern look so i gotta be honest with you the tudor slightly bigger slightly fatter more modern sizing the next thing is is that on the tudor Crown guards? Where are my crown guards, fuckers? No crown guards. In the noughties, crown guards were all the wage. Even Patek Philippe put crown guards on their dress watches. 5107, 5110, world time, 5125, annual calendar. Now we're in, we're approaching 2020. Crown guards are out. They are out of fucking season. Out of season, fuckers. The other reason. What is the reasons for this here? And I got to tell you now. We got to look at the bracelet. Now, the bracelet on this Rolex here. It does have some improvements. Compared to the rattlesnakes of past. It's got solid end links. No holes case. Uh, but the clasp and shears, well, Archie, they're very much a 90s throwback. That's a nasty 90s throwback. When we look at the bracelet that is on the Tudor Black Bay and is on the Tudor GMT Pepsi, I got to tell you, look at this. The new clasp, much better. We got... Faux rivets. And guess what? The bracelet is 22 mils. Fuckeroonies. 22 mils. 22 mils. Which, uh, you know, if we compare that to the... Um, just double check my measurements. Yep, 22 mils. Fuckeroonies. It's... Uh, why do I use a wooden ruler? I don't use metal so that the wood never damages... The watch in question. I gotta be honest with you. This has got a new improved Rolex movement. 70 hour power reserve. It's 
snowflake hands. This is a design icon. Whereas if we look at the the Rolex, we look at a Rolex, a Rolex Explorer 2. Look at this, it's a bit dated. Bit of a nasty throwback, the clasp and just very 90s, very 90s. It's uh it's just not keeping abreast. So my honest opinion is I think Tudors, modern Tudors, modern Tudors, in my opinion, are superior to the previous generation of Rolex, previous generation. If we had to compare the current ceramic, the new version of their Rolex pieces to Tudor, yes, Rolex is a bit better. But if we compare the last generation of Rolex steel sports watches and compare it to the current generation of Tudor Black Bays, i got to be completely honest with you. I think the Tudor is better than the Rolex. That's right. That's right. On all fronts, the Tudor is better than the Rolex. That's exactly. This is, I know it's, it's, it's hard to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. But I got to tell you, fuckeroonies, I'm here to break the stereotypes. Tudor is better than Rolex. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Lalex, please. Lalex, please. Tell me what you fuckeroonies think of that. Signing because it costs nothing. <laughs> so this is the congratulations to everybody. Guys, it's really dishonest to jump into bed with garbage. It's really dishonest. It's really dishonest. I mean, I, I've been approached hundreds of times by shitter brands. I said no. I said no. No shitters. No shitters. So just remember that when you're picking your YouTube gurus, don't always go for the one who everything's wonderful, everything's great. Because it ain't the case. It ain't all fucking wonderful. Oh, and don't forget, fuckeroonies, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to mention the Archie Luxury Travel Channel. That's where I'm doing live shows, fuckers. Yeah.